All right, so I'm going to tell you how to get a free set of training plates. Whether you want a set of training plates to stick in your plate carrier to uh, be in place of your ceramic plates. If you don't want to get too rough with them during training, you might want to put a set of uh, training plates in. Or maybe if you just bought your carrier and you're waiting on uh, some money to come around for to get some actual real bullet stopping plates, then uh, you may want to get some of these, you know, free training plates, stick in there, you know, give some rigidity to your carrier, make it look cool. That's important. So you might want to do that. Or air softers. You don't need to actually stop bullets. So plates out of plastic. So you may want something like that. And they're free. Well, at least if you have a 3D printer or you know someone who does and you can get some filament. Filament's cheapish. So nearly free plates. Anyways, uh, I tossed these plans up on GrabCAD. Uh, they're up as a solid model, so you can put your fill percentages or whatever you want. Uh, this right here is uh, only 15% fill, and it's plenty rigid enough uh, to be able to uh, hold its shape inside your plate carrier. I broke them up into two halves. That way you can have a, a smaller surface or a smaller uh, printer uh, and still be able to print these. You can super glue them together or whatever once they're inside your plate carrier and you have it all velcroed up, they don't uh, flex much in the middle, so it doesn't matter. Um, so, there you go. Link down below, you can go check those out, get them for free, slide them in your plate carrier, make it look nice and cool. Um, and here's a side thought, here's actually where I came about uh, thinking about making these. I was in a uh, class having to do with uh, shock waves and in the speaker section explosions and we're talking about how body armor does nothing for uh, the damage your body would get from having an explosion go off near it. Uh, it'll stop bullets but it doesn't do anything for the shock wave and that basically happens because the shock wave's coming and it hits your body and it just hits your armor as your armor is a nice big flat surface and it just punches it into your body and that's what creates damage. Actually, you're more likely to have internal damage if you're wearing body armor than if you're wearing no armor at all. I know it seems crazy, but it kind of makes sense when you think about it. It's basically a big gust of air coming and hitting you really, really hard. And uh, this is a nice flat surface for that air to push into your body uh, and do some damage. So uh, I just wanted to come up with a solution for this. Um, let me uh, preface all this. This has not been tested. This is just uh, my uh, thoughts of what might work well. So don't uh, don't go take anything out of context. But um, this uh, plate right here, I have it uh, printed with such a light fill that is designed to crush. So if you insert this behind your actual uh, body armor plate, I have AR500 here, so they're pretty thin, so I can fit both of them into my plate carrier. So if you slip them in behind your body armor, um, if you were to encounter a blast, the blast would press up against your armor, but then before it could have a chance to press up against your body, it would crush this, deadening some of the blow. Um, my professor said that a similar technology was used in the floors of uh, Hummers. So if they were to run over an IED, they would basically absorb some of the impact from the blast before it was transferred up into basically soldiers' feet. Uh, apparently it was a problem to where run over IED, you would have like your uh, legs and stuff be injured, uh, broken shins and things like that, ankles. Not good. So they came up with like this egg crate design that would go in the floors of them, um, according to my professor, that would help with this problem. So I figured why not have the same thing work for your individual body armor. That's where I came up with this. Like I said, I haven't tested it. Don't get access to that kind of thing. It was just a thought. Uh, so here you go. This is a uh, dummy plate, training plate, but who knows? It might do something. Uh, I left it in behind my armor just for the heck of it. It weighs nothing. It's not going to hurt anything. Who knows? It might help something. Weird story. Someone asked why you got the orange thing in there. Conjecture. I don't know. Might work. Who knows? Take care for what you want. There you go.